I've had it for a couple weeks. So I just kind of want to share some tips that I've gathered over the last uh, two weeks here. Um, so I've managed to play on Extreme, and I've managed to uh, get up to about 2,000 population and over a million gold. So I want to kind of share how I start. Uh, so we're just going to name our town uh, Season 1. We'll just pick our banner. Um, I always like the dragon. All right, so a couple different things here. When you're selecting your game, you kind of want to look for, you know, depending if you're new. So soil fertility and ore richness, richness being high, it's good. Um, you know, kind of look for landmass too. So this one's kind of broken up a little bit. So your city's going to be, you know, a little bit disjointed. Um, you can build satellite cities in this, or satellite towns in the game. So don't necessarily go for just landmass that, you know, one solid landmass like this one. This one's really nice to play on for a beginner. Um, or even the Mediterranean. Really good beginners. But we're going to, I'm going to try something a little bit different here. So we're going to go with cold. We're going to do the... Let's do Highlands. I haven't played this map yet. So Highlands, this is a challenge, very low soil fertility, medium ore richness, richness, and it's cold. So cold is going to be rough on our heat. Um, it's going to be cold pretty much all year round, so we're going to use a lot of firewood. It's going to change the way we do things. We're just going to leave everything normal. Okay, just going to go with defaults. A lot of times I'll just change this event frequency to... Frequent, just because I like having a lot of the events. Um, you know, let's just leave it that way. It's kind of nice. So everything else will be normal. So it can take a couple seconds for this to go up. Now, I will say that this tips here is really good uh, for every game that I've played. Uh, the first couple games I played, I didn't follow this, and it didn't end very well. Um, but following this is pretty decent, so... Um, we're going to do this to begin with. All right, so first things I do is I pause the game and take a look here. So you can see, if you hit control, left click, you see we got a boards layer, boards, lumber, four, six, four, eight. Okay, so there's some eights. So what I want to do first, I'm going to turn on my grid, and I want to get rid of the trees. This is going to allow me to see any layers that I have. So you can see I got two boards layer here. I got some iron here, some stone, more iron. Let's uh, out here. Okay, so we got three boars there here. So this would be good for a hunter's lodge eventually. Uh, and that's a bear layer, so it's a little bit better. So the bear is, I believe, 10%. Are fifteen percent, ten percent, and the fox layers are five. Is what I think. I haven't really been able to get a gauge on that, and it doesn't really tell you. So I'm just kind of looking at the map here. Um, let's see here. So we need. This is where our starting building is at. You see, it's not very. Although we do have the two here, we're going to ignore these two because we're going to build our. Hunter's Lodge down here, okay? Uh, just because I can get him in all three, right? So I got 120% by putting him there. Um, so that's really good. 21, 22, let's see. So 122, 123. So that's really good. We can just probably stick them right there. But we're not going to put him in yet. So we're not getting a little bit farther. So first thing I do is I pause the game, scout my map out, look for my layers, because eventually I will get the Hunter's Lodge up. He's going to be a source of food and income. And then I just draw up my roads. All right. I do try to go around each building. I don't know if it really helps with the 
uh, the way that the people move, but it is nice. So we're just gonna do that. All right. Now, first things first, we're gonna put down some houses. I always start with, so we got tent, house, shelter. Shelters, they're cheap, but you can't really, no children were born there. So you know, they're kind of useless in that at sense. You can use them as temporary housing, uh, just for overflow. Um, you can start with tents because they're really cheap to build or houses. So what I do is I just start with houses. So, okay. And because we're not going to be building, we're not going to be doing anything. Oh, wait, uh, give me one second here. I want to check my soil fertility. See if there's anything. Remember I said it was uh, low. So, yeah. So it looks like we might be able to put some farm there. A little bit there. So we got a few areas where we might go to get some farms in. Maybe up there would be good. Okay. And then for ore. Huh. Let me try to do that. Okay, so we got area here. What we got over here. Wow, there's not very many areas. Just a couple little pockets, huh? All right. So. Let me see. Wish. Bears there up there. But these layers are too far apart, so they're not really helpful. We got two here. That's rocks. There. Can I? I just want to see if I can get. Okay, so there's a bear there. But as you can see, I can't get it. I'm trying to get it to 120. It, so what I found out is if you have a lot of trees, so we turn this back on, the trees. So like these three bear layers over here, sell the trees. That helps your efficiency. Or if I come over here to this, so there's not too many trees around where I want to place this. So if I do this, see it's not, it's 117, 118. Looks like when we're over here, I can get 120. Because you're saying it all three of them, and then plus there's a lot more trees in the radius. So this is where your foresters come in handy. This is where uh, to work hand in hand with the hunting lodge. So, all right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna like, so we're gonna build the houses first. So we're just gonna pop this. We're gonna put some our um, trader here and probably fisherman up here. So first things first, we're just gonna pop down some houses. So one. And I always leave a space between them um, for the road. Again, I like to have roads. I don't know if they're if I put too many in, but they're free, so. You know, it's not too bad, so. So I did uh, one, two, three, four, five. So I did one a little too many houses, but that's okay. I want an overflow. Oh, and this is why you should always turn on the grid. So I'm going to lose some resources here. You know, we're just not going to worry about it. I'll fix it later. Um, we'll pause them for right now. You know what? Never mind. All right, so we'll do this again. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. A little bit of waste of resources at the beginning, but that's okay. All right, I'm just gonna run this up. Now you're gonna see as I run this road up here next to the boards, it despawns, which is fine. Like I said, we're not using that anyway. We're just gonna run these up, um, and I'm probably running these up too far, but. Eventually, I'll go up that far, so it just helps me see 
where everything's at. Okay, so we got our houses in. Now we need uh, gathers. So now remember down here I said I was going to put the hunter's lodge. So the gather shelter should work out pretty good too. Alright, so. We'll look for as best that we can get. I think that's 116. Alright. So 116. That's pretty good. And we're just going to run a road all the way up. To connect our main town. Now this here, I do a few little, I make a little crisscross here. This is where I'm going to house my Forester, Hunter's Lodge, and Herbalist once I get it. Plus, we need to have a depot. So I'm going to throw a depot in right here. Let's just do this. Yeah, so I'm going to throw a depot right there. All right. Now, if we want a the bigger depots when we get them, we can extend this out. So it's it's a ten by fourteen. So seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's ten. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. And so now as you see, I'm two away from this. Boar's layer, so it won't despawn. So, right next to this pad, two is okay. So, we got our foresters, or our, sorry, we got sword shed and we got the gathers. We got our five houses, so then we're gonna just toss in a sawmill. So, we'll toss a sawmill right here, and again, we wanna do a depot. Anytime you do a production building, you want to have a depot next to it, it helps speed up the process. And again, I'm going to do my 10 by 14. 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3. So when I get the warehouse, I can just plop it in. All right. And once we're in there, hey, welcome to the channel, Mickey. All right, so it's going to say a housing shortage. That's just because they're going to be building everything right now. All right. As you can see, I don't have a whole lot of wood. So they're going to be cutting down trees. What you can do at this instance here is you can just go through and pick these trees. So that's a one. We don't want that one. So we're going to clear that out as an accident. That's an eight. So we can probably take that one. Uh, that's an eight. Four, eight, we'll take that one. Eight, we'll take that one. So what I'm doing, I'm just basically manually selecting trees right now to allow myself some lumber because I need lumber really bad. And I'm going to select eight. So typically, there's no tens at this stage of the game. We got a couple eights there. And plus, like I said, we're going to put the Fisher's Hut and everything here in a minute. Let's say these are all eights. Oh, that's good. All right, so let's get all this. Okay. So once we do that, our huts are all done. Housing is good. We can take a look at our jobs board here, uh, which is J, if you want to do that. We're going to put two in the gather. We're going to go see what they're doing right now. Now it's built. So start of the game. I always make sure I upgrade this fully. This is where my food's going to come for the first year. So we're going to do that. We're going to put another person in. And you see we're going to do 1855 per year. We have a 200% efficiency or 199% efficiency. Okay. And then we'll throw one person in here. 
to get some firewood started. And we have a little bit of gold, so we're going to go ahead and re research the fisherman's hut. Eventually, we're going to insulate the houses, but we need some money first. So, that, I didn't realize I put a world there, so that's one. Yeah, we don't want. All right, 129 wood. They need 120, so we have enough basically for a month. Let's go find some more trees. And you could theoretically start your trees, uh, your forester huts right now, but these are all seven. So I'm going to wait a little bit. So these others oh, are 10. Good. So I'm going to wait a little bit on these sevens. By the time I get up here to build, they should be 10. So I got a few nines. I don't really need wood yet. All right. Let's do this. Lots of sevens. Over time, they will grow, but right now we need wood, so. All right. Uh, this should be an eight from seven. Nine. Nine. And as you can tell, we're getting some firewood. We need to have a few hundred firewood by the time winter gets here. Uh, and hopefully, they got some more money. Got there. We're going to do. You know, we're going to hold off a minute because I do want to get the docks, the fishing duck, fisherman's hut. And like I said, we're going to put that right here. You know what? Yeah, right here. Because what I want to do is I want to try put my docks right here. So you can tell you got that road in too far, but I put dock here. Two. So let's say we'll put three docks here. So it's just so that's good. Alright. So fish was hut. So I just want to see if I can get two in here. You know what? I probably get two like this. Yes, I can. Okay, good. So I'm going to do one right now. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm setting up a way for me to start making money in the early game. Um, and it's very important. So we're going to go here. This. And what we're going to do by setting up money is we're going to do, we're going to leave, let our, our, our gatherer's hut provide us with food. The fishing is going to be crabs, and it's what we're going to sell. So I'm going to go over here. They will eat the crabs if they get lawn food, but we can lock it. So you go into the go into the warehouse, search for them you want, click the lock. All right. Then we'll just wait for that to build up. Okay, and I should have enough people for this. We're going to do sturdy nets, try to get this up to three if we can. We're going to change production to crab. Okay, so we're going to wait for some more coin. And here, we're going to have one more person here. We should be getting seen a little amount of people soon. All right, so now. I'm bringing in 2,400 food a year, and this will fluctuate depending on the season and depending on what they're gathering, but 2,400 food will feed everybody pretty well. 
Um, I only have 462 crab. We're going to try to up this a little bit. All right. What I want to do is I want to build up my crab to get about a thousand, and then I'll start selling it. All right. So we got that in. We need then from here once we get the the boats in or we get one trader in that's our next goal. So I need a hundred coins. I got everything else. I need a hundred coins. So we're waiting for that. We're gonna need some trees. Um, check see some of these are oh cool. There we go. Never mind. So with this, I will be able All right. When this gets built, I'm going to have to pull in. Uh, I'll take one out of the gather for the moment to get this employed. Um, that's what I'll be doing. All right. So we'll see. Bye. Or seems there's any of these are tens. No. Good, good, good. Those are sevens. I got one nine in the bunch. That's not good. So, like I said, that's what we're, eventually I'm going to automate this. But in the meantime, when I'm trying to get it started, I don't want to do that. One, I don't have the people. So, and that's a problem. Uh, population is the limiting factor. Eventually, though, we'll be able to get them going. So. Eventually, population won't be a problem, but in the meantime, it will be. So, I just want to get this set up. Alright. Lots of sevens. So we're going to go ahead and get our sturdiness with that. We'll add him. We'll get him up to four. We won't put more people in there. We'll just have it ready so we don't get more people. As you see, I'm building over a 1,000 per year. If I go here, let me see, if I can see that I have. I should have a few anyway. Yeah, 96. So what I'll do in the beginning is after I hit about 100, I'll sell them and then I'll buy the stuff that I need. So I can buy like firewood, stone, you know, anything, any of the basic materials. Get me going. We will be eventually probably putting in some mines, even though I don't think it's going to be very good. Because when it was like light green, which is like 60% or something, it's not very good. But we'll get something going. So, then you see we have a thousand food, so we're doing pretty good. We're producing 350, we're using 126, and that's just from there. Uh, I don't have enough stone, so got our not enough workers. We're going to take one from the gatherer, but that should allow me to get rid of that. All right, so we're going to sell. You have your control, you do 20 at a time. If you hit shift and your left key, you do all of it. So we're just going to do 150 because we have. 
So I'm in 270. We need some stone. Actually, you know what? Let's do lumber. So lumber, I'm going to get all the lumber I can get. Trade. All right. Now I got a little bit of gold. We're going to come back into here. We are going to do clear path because we're going to put up the herbalist shelter first. Yes, I know I don't have the people yet, but I do want to get this in. So we're going to do herbal shelter, a forester's hut. And our hunters. I mean, you know, I probably should put in first to make sure I have 120. But we got 119 here. There we go, 120. And there, but we'll just stick it out here. So we're gonna stay here so we don't have to keep running roads. Here we go. So we got everything in. Our first shipment's gonna come in. We'll be able to do track and prey. So I got clear path, track and prey. So when I get the people to place in here, we'll be able to be up and running with pretty efficient uh, hunters and herbalists. Um, the forester's hut is gonna be set to plant and cut because what's going to happen is I'm going to set another forester's hut in the vicinity and that will be set strictly to plant and what that will do is that should help drive the efficiency of this one up it'll keep my hunters and herbalists everybody will be able to keep um, at a pretty high rate so we're not always running out of resources and also we're going to do ice fishing so it's winter time we'll go fish for fish so as you can see, it's at 1089 right now. This will be 30% more in the winter. So we should see it go up to like one, like 1300. Right now I'm just waiting on people. So we're gonna speed this up to 10. And this is basically my starter city or how I start. All right, it's done. So let's see here, up oh, 1225. So not as much as I thought. I thought we'd be up to about 1,300, but still, that's really good with only two people. And I'm still being 1,800 food for the year. We're still only using 265. We're in winter, so. All right. Let's do, I need stone. All right, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do um, we're going to do a hundred crab this time, and because we need stone, we need stone really bad. And I do know that I can get some stone. You know what? Let's get firewood. All right. All right. So let's go find our stone. Now I just get all the stone that I can get out of there. All right, basically we're not producing enough firewood. So, but I should be able to get some. I don't want to take trees from where I got the forester because that's just not good. So we're just gonna we're gonna eventually take all this. We're just gonna take all this down right now. This is all coming out. All right. And see what I'm talking about. It's January, it's negative three Celsius or 26. You'll see, I put, I don't know where everybody's at, but this is cold. And you looked up the year, this will never go up that high. 
and that's what I'm showing here. You can actually click this if you want to use Fahrenheit or Celsius. Just click the box. Right. And this is where we're at. Just waiting for people to do. So as you can see, I need one, two, three, four, five, six more people. All right, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in here. If you don't put this in the shrine, they will get upset and start to revolt. So we're just going to do this real quick. And a well. All right, so it's good. Okay. So that we're in. I'm gonna do a hundred this and we're gonna do another hundred firewood. See it's only thirty degrees in March. It's pretty cold. Okay. Alright, we got two more people. So we can Throw one in there, and one in the forester. All right, and it's saying we're uh, short on houses, so we're just going ahead and we're gonna throw in a few more houses. So what I do is I usually do two deep. And then I'll do one up the side. Okay, what's going to happen is, is I'm going to leave this open area. I don't know if you ever played games like um, SimCity, okay, where you can leave like an open area in the middle of the residential to put all your support buildings. So this is all going to get left open in the middle, so we can throw some um, items in there. Um, so they have 87 loyalty. Um, you, all right, so what do this here is keep the loyalty up. A lot of times I ignore that, but for now we'll go with it. All right, so basically it's lo looking very good. We need a lot of stone. We need a lot of wood. Um, this is a very challenging map, so it doesn't help me any. Let's get our poop axes here. We're going to go to just plant for right now. As you can see, it's only at 84 per year. We should be able to get this up a little bit higher percentage-wise. And in for worker, let's do this. Just wait on them to So now there's something to see. I didn't realize that they do go to the, um, so they're going here, we could. So I got people leaving because they're homeless. So they're not building fast enough. So we're gonna do this. And we'll take one from there. So they have everything, I'm just waiting for them to construct it. Right. Go ahead and sell some crab. And we're going to get some more firewood. Um, Religion. I don't have the religion out right now, just so I can get everybody up to speed here. All right, so losing those three people hurt, unfortunately, but my fault for not getting ahead of the curve, having some extra houses. 
So, all right, I am going to stop here, um, and I will see you guys again. We're going to save the game. We're going to call this. So you see I've played five different rounds. I'm going to save it. We're going to call this. We'll just go first. Twitch. Season. All right. There we go. All right, guys. Have a good day. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.